Driving in West Virginia, Kelvin Pierce finally spots what he's been looking for. The entrance to his father's old compound, once the headquarters for the National Alliance. It's obvious that there have been vehicles on this road recently, as you can still see tire tracks in the mud. I'm guessing there are people up here. My name is Kelvin Pierce. Oh, how are you doing? I was Dr. Pierce's son. Yeah. Is there any way we could get permission to walk around? Yeah, if you leave the camera in the truck. Okay. ABC producers were not allowed to film inside the compound, but Kelvin Pierce, on the ground for the first time since William Pierce died in 2002, took photos on his phone. I got to see my dad's trailer where he lived and where he died and, you know, just brought it all back. After his father's death in 2002, the National Alliance largely disbanded, but with ABC News cameras accompanying him on his visit to the West Virginia property, Kelvin realized the group may now be mounting a comeback. The property is possibly coming back to life because I know it's, it's sat derelict for years, but now they have people here and they're working on the property and they're kind of trying to bring it back to life. The current leader of the National Alliance declined to be interviewed by ABC News, but said the group does not allow any illegal activity or violence from members. And in a statement said, we in the National Alliance believe that our race is worth preserving. To accomplish that, we as racial separatists simply advocate geographic separation of the races by whatever means it takes. There can be no so-called white supremacy when we are not in the same space as non-whites. Kelvin spoke to Williams over the phone about his father, and the future. He said, you know, everybody thought we were down and out, but we're back. He said, we are definitely back. For Kelvin Pierce, it has taken many years to come to terms with his upbringing. I wasn't even able to talk about it probably well into my 30s. I was afraid to have anybody know who my father was. Now 60 years old, Kelvin is married with two daughters. He works as a contractor and founded a relief organization that provides aid to orphanages in the former Soviet Republic of Georgia. And after his father's death, Kelvin began what he calls his healing process. I remember the first time I told my story publicly, one of the things I said was about my fantasy about shooting black people in D.C. And when I watched a couple of black people walk into the audience before I gave my speech, I was like, oh no. I better not say this. But I decided to go ahead and say it, and it was remarkable to me that those black people came up to me and embraced me and said, through tears, that, wow, your story was so powerful and it really helped me. There's hope that is engendered by a story like that, that if I could overcome that hatred and that depression and that feeling of unworthiness, that maybe somebody else could too. People can change. One of the keys to that is really seeking to understand why people adopt a white supremacist belief or ideology and join a hate group. We've got to be able to reach out to people who are angry and frustrated and who want to strike out. If we aren't doing that, if we're making some people feel like they can make it in this country and others not make it, then all we're doing is planting the seeds for future Timothy McVeighs to do the kinds of things we saw in Oklahoma City. One takeaway from a mass casualty event like the Oklahoma City bombing is that the event of violence is not thought of as the end point in and of itself. It's meant to provoke further violence. This is a real test. It's a wake-up call for our country. It's not just Russia, it's not just uh, China, it's not just Iran. The reality is our country can collapse not just from foreign adversaries. We can collapse from within. And Oklahoma City is a reminder of that fact. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.